and let's uh, let's give it an acceleration here and see how it picks up. Wow. I mean, that's pretty good acceleration, pretty good pickup. Today, we are going for a drive in the brand new 2024 BMW X7 40i. Let's hop out on the outside, do an exterior inspection, then we'll get in and we'll go for a drive. Now, this is a pretty fully loaded X7, just landed at the dealership. We have black sapphire exterior paint, the upgraded black wheels. We have the M Sport Pro package, so we have the black kidney grill with the matte brack surround. With the X7, we now have the LCI, which is the split headlight design. So this is going on year two for the LCI for BMW. You can see the giant radar sensor at the front. So on the inside, we're gonna have the advanced driver's assistance package with the active stop and go cruise control and the lane keep assist now up to 130 kilometers per hour. So I'm very excited to try out that new feature. What a large SUV. Now this is BMW's third row SUV option. They used to have a third row on an X5. Now they don't. If you want a third row on a BMW, you have to get the X7. We have the trailer tow hitch at the back. Take a little bit look of the interior. So you can see when the third row is up, there's not a ton of amount of space here. We do have a privacy cover that comes here. And then there is a little bit of extra storage. So twin tailgate design or dual bottom. And then there's a little bit of extra storage here. There's also another privacy cover, and that one will go into the flaps here for if you always have the back seats down. Now, if you do want to control the seats, you have these buttons here. So you can do each seat individually, or I like this, my favorite button, max cargo room. It's just gonna put all the seats down all at once. One button, and it does all the seats. So you have max cargo room there. You can see with the second row you have quite a lot of space if you're normally going to have just five people in the vehicle and then once in a while you're going to have six or seven it's a perfect option this one does have the seven seat options so you have the full bench that goes flat here bmw does offer a six seat option with the captain chair so they wouldn't go all the way down like this option is and then we'll go back to max seat now right here on the tailgate there's another button here and this is the air suspension button so you press this and you're going to notice the vehicle's lowering at the front, and then once the front gets lowered all the way, it's gonna lower at the rear, giving you a lot easier access to get in and out of the vehicle. Taking a look at the back seats, this is the upgraded Tartufu Marina Leather. It's a $2,900 option on this vehicle. We also have side sun jades. Third, third row sunroof. And you have controls to get in the back seat. So you have another control panel here for the back seats. And you have this one up here for making that fold down like the back one does. And you have this button here for when you wanna get into the back seat. Pushes the driver's seat forward. This seat's gonna come up all the way and then allow you access to that third row. Now, even at the back here, these are rear heated seats as well as a USB-C port down here and a cup holder. Put that back into place. You have a second row climate control zone. These are heated and there's an optional five zone climate control for the very back. Travel comfort, USB-C port there. And let's hop on the inside and go for a drive. If you guys look at the driver's cockpit m sport package i drive a curved display screen giving us our opening animation there another look at the ventilated and heated and massaging no no this car doesn't have the massaging seats but there is an option to add the massaging to the tartufu merino leather giant sunroof at the top there you can see little white dots that's the sky lounge so you have led lights built into that sunroof This is the key fob that you get with the X7. This is the sport variant, I guess. And push button start, steering wheel comes into position. Push button start was down here with this glass control. You also have the glass iDrive controller and transmission shifter. You can see our air suspension there. We can also manually put it up to the highest height if we wanna get over something. Automatic brake hold, sport comfort eco. We'll play around with more of these buttons. We'll play around with the infotainment system, but let's get on the road. And then as we get into some red lights and whatnot, I'll explore the infotainment system a bit. You 
you can see the augmented reality navigation showing up in our gauge cluster there and this gauge cluster is very customizable and i'll show you guys a little farther into the video i do want to thank parkview bmw for providing the vehicle for this test drive if you guys are in the toronto marketplace and you're looking to purchase a bmw make sure you guys come visit parkview bmw you can even reach out to me at my email down below and i'll help you guys out on the sales side yeah thank you very much to parkview bmw all right we'll get on the road here we are in comfort mode it starts off in comfort mode every time you start the vehicle just a pretty soft acceleration probably 30 percent of the horsepower there man you can tell right away this is a big vehicle now inside the iDrive 8 our climate menu is also in here so gone are the days of having physical buttons for your climate control and it's all put into here you can swipe right to get to the passenger seat but heated ventilated seats heated steering wheel all of that is over here i'm gonna put it on the automatic program yeah for your drivers we do want automatic man that augmented reality is pretty cool so like i said we're starting off in comfort mode we do have eco pro we do have sport mode as well but i'm going to leave it in comfort for the first little bit you can feel the seat move a little bit when you go into sport mode it's interesting now like i said this gauge cluster is very customizable so right now we have augmented reality so there's two things that you can customize two ways there's like the layout and then there's the content that you see the first thing i'm going to show you guys is different content corner here got a decent acceleration very torquey so the engine is this bmw's generation 3 b58 engine so upgraded 40 horsepower over the previous generation x7 or the pre-lci now at 375 horsepower out of the single turbo uh, six cylinder three liter engine so like i was saying gauge cluster you press this button on the steering wheel you can customize it so we have assisted view there is the values for the trip for your fuel economy and you know total kilometers on the vehicle or there's just having your digital speed right in the center there let's make a lane change here and then you go down you have the augmented reality navigation which i showed you we also have the uh, route preview the map the map is probably the most popular one or at least it was before the augmented reality came in which is a new option for bmw and then you do have a g-force meter that you can put here or you can put music there we go it shows it once it goes away and the last one is music personally i like the map so we're going to leave it on the map view now after you've customized the content that you want to see you can customize the layout but you can only do the layout when you're in comfort so there's that one so this one and there's sport the reason i leave it on this one is because as soon as you go into eco mode you always get this one you can't customize it and as soon as you go into sport mode you always get this one you can't customize it so that's why i'm in comfort i like to leave it like that and the last thing that you can customize when you have it is the head-up display now every x7 is going to have of display as long as you have at least the essential package on it let's leave that with the standard view now the iDrive 8 it's touch screen maps are updated let's actually uh let's input a destination let's go navigate us back to parkview bmw just to show you guys In 100 meters turn left onto the donway east and then if possible make a legal u-turn well, I don't like the voice, so we're going to take her off. But you'll notice that it's white here, and the augmented reality has automatically come back in because we it's telling us to turn. Once it's do a U-turn, we're going to do a quick jolt down to the highway. We'll go on the highway, off the highway, and then we'll we'll come back up. But give you guys a good feel for highway driving on this vehicle. So you notice that it's all white over here. Once you map the vehicle to your driver profile and you log in, you will then have the real-time traffic info. So this will be green, orange, red, depending on what the traffic is. Now, since we're merging on the highway, I'm going to go into sport mode here. So I do want to open it up and get a feel for this increased horsepower on the new X7. Now, the feel is a really heavy vehicle. Big, large, long. 
suspension is really soft, but I mean, the handling is still good. I mean, we have summer performance tires on this vehicle, so it's got the grip. Braking, there are large brakes, but it's such a heavy vehicle that the braking is it's not very edgy. It's very smooth, it doesn't grip too hard. So we haven't, really, we haven't really had a chance to open it up here. We've been following people in. But what I'd like to do is test out the Advanced Drivers Assistance Package. So the active stop and go cruise control, which I love. I love the fact that these cars have it. So in order to turn on cruise control, there's this small button over here. Click that on the steering wheel. Now driving assistant is activated. Let's it's 50, 70, 90. 100 one let's set it to 100 so it's monitoring that car in front of us it's doing the steering for us we're hands-free there's distance control and assisted driving there is another mode for it to be completely hands-free up to 130 kilometers per hour. How do you activate that? See that car pulled in in front, it's braking. Keeping us centered in our lane. The last car is driving. When I went hands free, a notification popped up said activate for assistant driving plus. I'm not sure why it's not doing it, but I want to break here and let's uh, let's give it an acceleration here and see how it picks up. Wow. I mean, that's pretty good acceleration, pretty good pickup. This is, road noise is very minimal. I'm hearing more engine noise than anything. It's very smooth. Suspension is very smooth. Back on the driving assistant. How do I activate Driving Assistant Plus? One thing I like when you're in Sport Mode, is you come over to the iDrive 8, you go Live Vehicle, and we get to see horsepower, engine, turbo PSI, take this exit here though very confident in the brakes pretty confident in the vehicles handling too but it, it is a larger vehicle so you're not going to go through this corner as fast as you could with other vehicles had a full tank before we left and it was saying a thousand kilometers I wonder how many liters it takes to fill up this x7 so this is the iDrive 8 it's your main menu basically so this is your main menu you can configure these tiles and then on your left you have the menu button you have music you have your phone and you have navigation go into the drop down menus I like this it's like a phone it's like each one is an app and you can choose between all of the apps you can do the infotainment apps I'm controlling everything through the iDrive controller here because you can't really reach forward while you're in a normal seating position and Android Auto Apple CarPlay and then you go vehicle apps so these are all the vehicle settings so like I mentioned the driver's ID 
the live vehicle we were just in, system settings if you want to set the automatic time settings, go into a different time zone and it'll adjust for you, language, units, you can all adjust in there, interior lighting, I love the ambient lighting, so many different colors but you can't change them in sport or eco so you have to go to comfort and then once you're in comfort then you can adjust which light you want. So right now we have a papaya, you can see the X7 LED across the dashboard, put into ocean. And it'll also change the LED lights in the sky roof, on the sky lounge sunroof. And it's like everywhere. It goes all the way to the third row seats. It's down here, door panel. It's a little hard to see because of how light it is though. At nighttime, it's really beautiful. Displays you can configure, like your head up display. We can adjust the height. We can adjust the rotation. We can adjust the brightness. You can see what information you want to see when you're head up display. Doors and windows. You can add a digital key to this car. I love the fact that you have proximity sensing for your comfort door access. So as soon as you walk away from your vehicle, it'll lock. And as soon as you walk towards your vehicle, it unlocks for you automatically. Driving settings. The one thing this car does have is iconic sound. So when we're in sport mode, step on it hear that noise iconic sounds stops plumbing in the fake noise I really didn't notice too much of a difference there driving assistance so you can go for all your safety and warnings pre-collision lane departure warning your steering intervention blind spot monitoring all of those can be adjusted parking driving speed limit assistance distance control so this is how you set whether and how close it will be to that car in front of you. There's three options. The last generation BMW would just have buttons here, but now it's pushed into iDrive 8. Looks like it'll automatically change for you. These are some cool settings in here. Automatically adjust the speed to the route, lane guidance with navigation, steering wheel impulse, assisted driving. So there's automatic lane change and assisted driving plus is engaged. Enables you to take your hands off the steering wheel in suitable driving situations. Please pay attention at all times to intervene if necessary. I wonder why we couldn't get that to uh, activate while we were on the highway there. And there's also a trailer mode that you can adapt because of the trailer tow hitch. Steer lighting, parking sensors, and vehicle status. So those are all of your menus that you have for the iDrive 8 system. It's new design for the vents. That's closed, that's open, moving it around. You still have a few physical buttons here for your radio, volume, and power. Next song or next radio station, your hazard lights, your Front defrost and rear defrost. I like this augmented reality navigation showing up. Underneath here is two cup holders. They're heated and cooled, and there's a wireless uh, charging pad in there as well. Transmission also has another sport mode. You down click, puts the transmission to sport. And you also have the paddle shifters that you can go through the gears manually. And if you don't use them after a little bit, they'll just go back to normal drive mode. So 
So once again, thank you very much to Parkview BMW for providing the test drive vehicle for this video. If you guys are in the Toronto marketplace and looking to purchase a BMW, make sure you come to Parkview BMW. This X7 is for sale at the time of posting this video. So if you're interested in this exact unit, you like what you see, feel free. You can reach me on my email down below and I'll help you guys out on the sales side. All right. The last thing I want to show you guys before we end the video is the parking assistant professional because it is upgraded from the last generation of the system. It can now sense just the lines in the road and doesn't always go off of the vehicles like it did before. So as you're approaching a parking spot, what you want to do is just click this button down here, the P with the little lines, and it's going to be searching for parking spots for us. And in a new one too, instead of just showing over here where you have to tap the button, and it looks like you can even do forward parking not just reverse parking you can also shows up in your gauge cluster and your head-up display and you just click down here and it engages now it says more on our surroundings and release the brake we have a green light on the steering wheel making sure everything's good and it shows you the parking spot that it's going back to put us in and then it even shows you where it sees that spot in between those lines it's registering those lines and it's parting you putting you into that spot and you can see with a bird's eye view man it gets close there you can see over here in the gauge cluster like where we are to getting into that spot and see it over here it's pretty cool all right that's everything that i have to show you guys thank you guys so much for watching this pov drive of the 2024 x740i like i said if you guys are interested in purchasing reach out to me and me down below make sure you guys smash the like button subscribe to the video or subscribe to the channel smash the like button on the video yeah i get a little tongue-tied sometimes so thank you guys so much uh peace out i'll see you guys on the next video if you stayed for the very end you get to see the ambient lighting now that we're in the underground parking and there's not a lot of light coming through but look at all of this green ambient lighting everywhere the back seats as well and the sunroof too Okay, now peace out.